In this video, shared by Dr. Daniel Lozada from Sao Paulo, Brazil, we will discuss the surgical management of a case of retinal redetachment due to PVR. This is the case of a patient who was previously submitted to vitrectomy with silicone oil implantation for the treatment of regmatogenous retinal detachment and developed redetachment due to PVR two months after surgery. After silicone oil removal, the surgeon performs a fluid air exchange and uses brilliant blue dye under air. Upon opening the infusion line, we can observe negative staining areas corresponding to PVR. The surgeon initiates the PVR approach from the posterior pole, removing a macular membrane and the internal limiting membrane. We can observe multiple preretinal PVR areas as well as subretinal PVR bands. Subsequently, perfluorocarbon is injected. Perfluorocarbon, being a heavy liquid, stabilizes the posterior pole, allowing preretinal membranes to be safely removed with retina forceps without generating iatrogenic tears or hemorrhages. The advantage of staining in the air is that we can easily identify the preretinal membranes adjacent to the areas stained by the brilliant blue dye. In this way, each membrane can be precisely addressed individually for the complete removal of PVR, which is crucial for the visual prognosis of these patients. We can also use a bimanual technique to remove the more adherent membranes, in this case, with forceps and the illumination probe. After completely removing the preretinal membranes, the surgeon performs a superior retinotomy so that the subretinal PVR can be removed. Subsequently, a fluid air exchange is performed and subretinal fluid is drained through the retinotomy. Endolaser is performed and silicone oil is placed at the end of the surgery. This is the aspect of the retina after silicone oil removal six months later, with good anatomical and functional results. 